Hi, welcome to the question and answer portion of the operation security. We will focus on RAID. I am Liz von der Heiden. Question number one. RAID stands for A. Repeatable array of inexpensive disks. B. Repeatable assortment of inexpensive disks. C. Redundant array of inexpensive disks. D. Redundant assortment of inexpensive disks. The answer is C. RAID stands for redundant array of inexpensive disks. Question number two. Which RAID level provides data stripping but no redundancy? Is it level zero, level one, level two, or level three? The answer is level zero. Level zero is a striped disk or strip this without fault tolerance. So if one fails, all data in the array is lost. This is used for performance only and not for redundancy. Question number three, which RAID is the best for single user systems and provides byte level sh stripping with a dedicated parity disk? Is it level zero, level one, level two, or level three? The answer is D, level three. So in level three, the data is stripped such that each byte is on a different disk. Parity is calculated across corresponding bytes on disk and stored on a dedicated parity disk. So in this RAID, a very high data transfer rates are possible. Question number four, which RAID is sometimes referred to as zero plus one and creates mirrors and a RAID zero stripe? Is it level zero, level six, level 10, or level 15? The answer is C, level 10. So this particular RAID provides high availability by combining the features of RAID 0 and RAID 1. For RAID 0, it increases performance by stripping volumes, volume data across multiple disk drive. And if you combine that with RAID 1, which provides disk mirroring between two disk drive, so by combining the features of RAID 0 and RAID 1, RAID 10 provides a second optimization for fault tolerance. Question number five, which RAID is the most common? Is it level zero, level three, level five, or level six? The answer is level five. And level five is a block level stripping with distributed parity. So it distributes parity along with the data. So no single disk is devoted to parity, which can speed small writes in multiprocessing systems. Question number six, what is the most expensive RAID solution? Is it level zero, level six, level 10 or level 15? The answer is level 10. It is the most expensive because you must have twice as much disk space as you need. Question seven, which RAID is, for, is used for mirroring and duplexing? Is it level zero, level one, level two or level three? The answer is level one. So RAID level one is usually referred to as mirroring. In this particular level, 
It provides redundancy by duplicating all the data from one drive on a second drive so that if one of the two hard drives fails, no data is lost. Question number eight. What is the technique called when uh, used when data are written across all drives? Is it parity, stripping, redundancy, or mirroring? And the answer is stripping. So it, stripping is writing data across several drives. The trick in this technique is dramatically improved because many device heads are utilized. This activity divides and writes the data over several drives. So the write performance is not affected because the read performance is increased dramatically because more than one head is retrieving data at the same time. Question number nine. What is used to rebuild a new drive so all the information is restored on the new hard drive? Is it parity, stripping, redundancy, or mirroring? The answer is parity. Question number 10. What is the difference between RAID and RATE? So remember, one is with a D and one is with a T. Is it A, B, C, or D? And the answer is A. RAID uses tape drives. Rate is efficient when large volumes of write operations are needed for massive amounts of data. Rate stripes the data across multiple tapes, much like the rate array, and can function with or without parity. This concludes the question and answer portion of Operation Security. For more questions and videos, please visit us at levo.group. Thank you for listening.